Are you wondering what's the best smartwatch for Android this year? If so, stay tuned, because by the end of this short video, you'll know exactly which one to choose. Hey guys, it's 7 Top Rated, and in today's video, we're going to check out the 5 best Android smartwatches on the market. This list was made based on our personal views, and are listed based on price, quality, durability, and more. To see prices and get more info about the product shown, be sure to check out the description below. One last thing before we dive in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get the latest product reviews from the channel. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. At number 5 is the Huawei Watch GT. Smartwatches and fitness trackers are hot right now, but lots don't have enough battery life. Enter the Huawei Watch GT. This device lasts longer than most other smartwatches on the market and can do quite a lot too. Starting with the design, the Watch GT is thinner than your average sports wearable, measuring just 10.6 millimeters from the front of the screen to the rear of the casing, and feels nicely built with two buttons on the right edge of the watch that has a firm click to them, and the black ceramic bezel looks elegant. There is an ambient light sensor hidden behind it which keeps the full face of the 454 by 454 1.4-inch OLED screen on view. Moving on, Despite the simple looks, there is very little sensor-wise that this watch doesn't have. It has GPS with GLONASS and Beidou support, in addition to regular GPS. Also an optical heart rate sensor, accelerometer and gyroscope to track motion, and magnetometer or compass and barometer. In addition, a small white puck is included in the box along with a USB Type-A to USB Type-C cable. You plug the Type-A end into any phone charger and the Type-C end into the edge of the puck. It snaps onto the back of the phone magnetically, and charging takes up to two hours. On to ease of use. Browsing around the Huawei GT interface feels great. The touchscreen is responsive, and everything feels snappy and easy to find your way around. Additionally, the lower button fires up your list of activity tracking modes. The watch can auto-detect activity with lots of activities to choose from, including swimming with stroke detection and distance tracking for both indoor and outdoor pools along with cycling, running, hiking, and climbing. The biggest attraction in Huawei Watch GT is its battery life. According to Huawei, the watch will last up to 30 days in typical use. It will turn off heart rate monitoring and only use the Watch GT for notifications and calls. We would say that 14 days of normal use is a very reasonable expectation. To conclude, if you want a smartwatch with fashionable appearance, many daily functions, rich sports modes, and a super long battery life, you might as well try the Huawei Watch GT. At number 4 is the TechWatch S2 smartwatch. If you want your smartwatch to take a pounding and perhaps keep up with a more active lifestyle, what choices do you have? After all, the majority are made for looks, not for toughness. Mobboy has stepped up with the TechWatch S2, a smartwatch that doesn't mind getting knocked or scraped once in a while. Design-wise, Mobboy has engineered the TechWatch S2 to meet US military standard A10G protecting against temperature, dust ingress, and is water-resistant to five atmospheres. It's quite thick at 12.9 millimeters, and the matte black color makes it faceless. Moreover, the polycarbonate body's texture feels great. The entire watch is very lightweight, and the silicone strap is comfortable. The button on the side is also easy to locate and push, even with gloves on. And the tall bezel should keep the face free from accidental scuffs or scratches. We like that it was easy to personalize your watch by changing the watch face and switching out the straps. The screen measures 1.39 inches and has a 400 by 400 pixel resolution. We had no problem seeing it outdoors, but there's no ambient light sensor, meaning you have to adjust the brightness manually. Moving on, the watch runs the latest version of Google's Wear OS platform. It's swipe-based, but it's more logical than before and more helpful too. A swipe to the right activates Google Assistant. Swipe to the left and you get a selection of fitness metrics and access to Mobvoice Tech Health Suite, found inside the standard Mobvoi app from Google Play. Alternatively, long press on the screen and you can swap to Google Fit. The tough body makes the TechWatch S2 ideal for outdoor use. It tracks steps and heart rate, interacts with Google Fit and Mobvoi's own Tech Health app, and has built-in GPS. We generally had no complaints about performance using it on a daily basis without frustration. The TechWatch S2 has a 415 milliamp hour battery inside, which will typically last around 36 hours before requiring a top-up. Although not bad, it isn't as good as some others on the market. As for charging the battery, this is done by using the magnetic plinth with pogo pins on it. 
we placed the watch on the plinth with 20% charge showing on the display, and it reached 100% in about 60 minutes. To conclude, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better option if you're looking for an ultra-durable Wear OS-powered fitness smartwatch on a budget. At number 3 is the Garmin Forerunner 235. There are plenty of Android fitness trackers to choose from these days, so if you need to track your running or workouts along with your steps, then the Garmin 235 is a reliable entry-level running smartwatch. Let's see what makes it tick. Starting with the design, the watch measures 45mm by 45mm by 11.7mm, which is approximately 1.75 inches in diameter, with a watch weighing just 42 grams making it easy to forget you have it on your wrist. The Forerunner 235 is available in three different colors, black and gray, frost and blue, and marsala. All of these colors look professional and are suitable for mature people. The navigation and commands are managed by a series of buttons lined up along the perimeter of the watch case. The 1.23-inch diameter color display is non-touch and is very readable in bright sunlight, which we found useful. Moreover, when used as a running companion, it can make a noticeable difference for fitness lovers. The Garmin Forerunner 235 is the wearable that holds pretty much all the features to be called a good GPS watch. The watch's out-of-the-box feature set includes daily activity tracking, run tracking, training programs, plus smartwatch features, and the ability to install apps that further expand the watch's capabilities. In addition, the built-in GPS utilizes GPS and GLONASS satellites for locating the position. Some metrics like distance, speed, are measured using these satellites to give more accurate results. Moving on with activity and sleep tracking, this Garmin 235 watch covers the standard activity tracking metrics, like counting steps, burn calories, distance, and it additionally has sleep monitoring to track total sleep and movement. With the wrist-based heart rate monitor, Garmin has used Elevate technology to measure heart rate for 24-7 without any extra strap. Additionally, you can pair the watch with a compatible phone for connected features, like automatic uploads to Garmin Connect, smart notifications, audio prompts, and live tracking. You can also download customizable watch faces and applications from Connect IQ, which is pretty cool. Before we end, we must mention that Garmin promised a battery life between 9 and 11 days. However, we found it needed to be recharged after 3 days, which is still not too bad. This is recharged through an exclusive clip that attaches to the side of the watch and powered via USB. To conclude, if you've been seeking the best value in full-feature GPS watch that would add new life to your fitness activities, then we would suggest the Garmin Forerunner 235 is one of the best Android smartwatches with almost nothing to dislike. At number 2 is the Fossil Gen 4 Explorist smartwatch. As fashionable smartwatches go, there is a lot to like about the Fossil Gen 4 Explorist. It's attractive, well-made, waterproof, and available in a choice of finishes and band styles. Design-wise, the Gen 4 watch looks like a traditional mechanical timepiece more than most of its Android smartwatch rivals down to its large flat glass front and notched bezel and crown-style buttons. However, what separates the Q-Explorist from a mechanical wristwatch is its excellent 454x454 1.4-inch display. The Q-Explorist's OLED panel is right at the forefront, and it's pin-sharp, bright, and colorful. Despite measuring 45 millimeters across, the smartwatch doesn't feel excessively bulky, which is great. In addition, flip the watch over and you'll find the Q-Explorist optical heart rate sensor, which does protrude slightly from the back of the casing. This isn't so pronounced as to cause discomfort, and it also doubles up as a suitable notch for helping secure the watch's magnetic wireless charger. The watch is available in five different colors, which come with a variety of straps made from different materials. Whichever model you choose, you can still use any standard 22mm band to achieve the look you want. As for performance, the fourth-generation Explorist runs Wear OS, formerly Android Wear, which means it can be used with both Android and iOS devices, which is great. Moreover, where the previous Q Explorist lacked GPS, NFC, and a heart rate monitor, all three features have been added to this Gen 4 Explorist smartwatch, making it an altogether more appealing device. Indeed, you can now leave the house without your phone and accurately log the distance and time of your workout while keeping tabs on your pulse. The NFC feature is a great addition. It took only a few minutes to set up Google Pay, and making a contactless payment at the supermarket was as easy as it would have been using a credit or debit card. 
Best of all, it works without an internet connection, so you can pick something up at the shops on the way back from a run, even if you've left your phone and wallet behind. We also like to mention that the efficient new charger design ensures a snappier power-up than with previous generations. The watch can reach 80% charge in under an hour and fill up completely in around 1 hour 15 minutes, which is pretty impressive. To conclude, the Gen 4 Explorist has all of the aesthetic appeal that you'd expect of a brand that specializes in fashion accessories. And crucially, it includes all the features a prospective smartwatch buyer should, and one we would recommend. At number 1 is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. The Tizen-based Samsung Galaxy Watch Active is a smaller alternative to the big bulky smartwatches we usually see, and is a compelling piece of hardware. It provides a lot of the same features as larger wearables and even adds a few new ones. Design-wise, the Galaxy Watch Active is made with military-grade protection and a protective Gorilla Glass coating that prevents scratching. It's thin at just 10.8 mm thick and weighs in at a lightweight 25 grams, plus comes in lots of colors and interchangeable brands. Moreover, if there's something Samsung does better than most is, it makes great smartwatch displays, and the Watch Active is no exception. The 1.1-inch 360x360 AMOLED display is an absolute beaut. It's bright and vibrant, and images and text are crisp. The main controls will be with your fingers as you swipe, tap, and flick your way through T's and OS. There are two physical buttons on the side for the power control and Samsung Pay Access, which is a cool feature. On to the performance, a swiping to the right of the watch face will bring you to the health screen, showing you three core trackers. You get activity or calories burned, workout or active minutes, and move hourly, which aims to get you up and moving around every hour. Swiping to the left will bring you to many app experiences, like the health tracker or the heart rate tracker. You can also check your calendar or pump up the jams with Spotify. The latter is a nice experience to have on your wrist, and yep, it works with the Galaxy Buds. In addition, you can track about 39 different activities ranging from biking to running, so it's an impressive array. Moving on, Galaxy Watch Active brings a lot of value when paired with your Galaxy phone. It links quite well with Samsung's One UI and natively will work with the Galaxy Store for any extra apps and watch faces you may want to add. You can see notifications on your wrist, control music playback through Spotify, and maybe even get a little more active. Additionally, with the watch being smaller and thinner, you might think the battery life will be poor, but I've consistently gotten around a day and a half with the Galaxy Watch Active. Before we end, the Samsung includes a wireless charger, but you can also charge the Active with wireless PowerShare on the Galaxy S10e, S10, and S10+. Plus. To conclude, the Galaxy Watch Active's lightweight and simple design make it better for working out and wearing to bed, and works on both Android and iOS. Overall, it's a pleasant experience that is smooth and well thought out, which is why it tops our list. Thanks for watching the video. We hope you found it useful. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this in the future. If you do have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. Catch you soon.